Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching jQuery for beginners lesson 7, jQuery and the DOM. <laughs> okay then gang, so first things first, I just want to rewind a little bit and talk about what the DOM actually is in JavaScript. Now, the DOM stands for Document Object Model. And essentially, it is just a way to describe the relationship between elements or tags, if you like, on a web page. And graphically, it's represented by this tree-like structure here. Okay, so for example, we've got the HTML tag at the top of the tree. Under that, we've got the body tag. Then within that, we've got different tags such as the header, the div, the footer, and then under those, different tags as well, etc., etc. Okay, so it also gives us a way to reach into this tree and grab certain elements and also traverse this tree up and down to grab whichever element we want to retrieve, right? So for example, I could go in and grab this h1 in vanilla JavaScript by doing something like this. Document.getElementsByTagName, header, which is going to grab this element. Then dot get elements by tag name again, h1, which is going to traverse the tree downwards to grab this element right here. Now, if you're anything like me, you're lazy and you don't want to do this over and over again in your scripts when you're grabbing elements from your web page. So this is where jQuery really, really excels. jQuery provides us with a wrapper around the DOM, which gives us access to additional methods which make it really, really easy to, to, uh, to traverse this DOM up and down, this tree up and down, and grab whichever elements we need. So that's what this lesson is going to be all about. I'm going to go through a few examples of different methods jQuery provides us with to traverse this tree. Okay then class, as you can see, I've got the index up right here and I've got the script.js down below. Now, all this stuff commented out are the different methods that I'm going to go through one at a time, but I want to start with the next one right here. Now, the next method essentially grabs an element and then gives us the next element in line in the HTML structure. For example, in this one right here, let's just uncomment it. I'm saying go after the contact methods ID, which is up here or down here rather somewhere. There it is, this UL right here. And I'm saying get the next element in line, which is this image tag, right? Then change its CSS so that it's got a red border, three pixels and solid. So that would hopefully make this map image right here red. So let's save it. And voila, there we go, it's red. Cool. So let's just comment this up again and go on to the next one, which is prev or prev, whatever you want to call it. Just short for previous. Let's uncomment that. And this time I'm going after the social nav, which is this UL right here. I'm saying get this element, then get me the previous one because I'm using dot prev or dot prev, which is going to be this image tag yet again. But this time, oh, I thought that was blue. Let's make it blue. This time, make the border blue. Okay, I've just saved that, and there we go. It's made that image blue because that is the previous element. Yeah, it's going up this time. Next goes down, previous goes up. Cool. So let's comment this again and go on to the next one, which is parent. Now, parent grabs an element and it finds its parent. So in this example, I've said, get me the banner title class, which is up here at the top somewhere. Yep, there it is, banner title. Now, go and get me the parent element. So if we go up the tree one level, the parent is this wrapper. Give that a border, which is three pixels solid and pink. So let's save this and scoot up the page right here. And now you can see this wrapper div has a pink border. Cool. And that is the parent of this banner title, yeah? All right then, now, here's a cool trick. If we just add an S onto the end of there, we're making it plural, and we're saying, get me all the parents of this banner title, right? Now, this is the first parent. This is the second parent, or grandparent, if you like. This is the third parent. And finally, the body is the fourth parent. So we're getting all those different parents and we want to give them all a border, which is three pixels and pink, just by adding that S on. So let's save this right here. And now we can see all those different elements with a border on. Okay, pretty cool, yeah? So let's comment that up again and move on to the next one, which is children. Now this one, as you would expect, gets all the children of an element. So I've said get the social nav, which is down here somewhere. There it is. 
now find me the children within the social nav, which is all of these LI tags, and give them a border, which is green and three pixels solid. Now the social nav is down here, this one here. So let's save this and see what it does. Okay, cool, it's given them all a green border. So that's the children method. Let's comment that up again. And the next one I wanna show you is find, and I quite like find because it's really flexible. Essentially, what we do is first of all, grab an element, which is contact in this case. So it's this section right here. Then I'm saying find within this section, a class called Facebook, right? So if Facebook class exists within this section, bring that back to me, which it does, it's right here. And then I'm gonna give that a border of purple, right? So let's save that. And now we get that Facebook element with a border of purple. Now you might be sitting there thinking, well, instead of find, why don't we instead just do this, contact.facebook. And yet yeah, that will work. This is gonna have the same effect. If I save it, you see it's still purple, but for performance issues, the find method is quicker. Okay, there's not a great deal in it, but I just prefer the find method. Cool, so let's comment that back up again and go on to this last method I wanna show you, which is called closest. And what closest does is move up the DOM to find the nearest parent to match whichever element you put in here. All right, so I'm saying here, go and get me the social nav first of all, which is here. Then get me the closest parent, which is a wrapper class. So if we go up the DOM, first of all, we go up to this section. Now that's not a wrapper class. So we go up again and the parent of this is wrapper. So there we go, it's gonna grab me that element. So it's gonna give that a three pixel solid border which is orange. So let's save that. And there we go guys, we get that orange border, cool. So that, my friends, is how we traverse the DOM in jQuery. Loads easier, I think you'll agree, than vanilla JavaScript. So if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to subscribe, share, and like these videos, and I'll see you in the next one.